I want hello YouTube viewers, computer programming here. This is another video tutorial of how to get RS Buddy up and running again. This is um, a request from NG33. Sorry if I pronounced that wrong. But I purposely just changed um, mine, or my RS Buddy folder or jar to open up with RinRare or RinRar. So open up with RinRare, but it's not supposed to do that. But first off, I want you to go to Start. And if you don't have the Run command here, are in your start um, dialog here. Go to all programs, accessories, and then you'll see run there. Or you can just press on your keyboard the Windows logo key, which should be in between Control and Alt. Hold that down and then press R um, after that. Oh, key disabled. Hold on. I have a macro keyboard, so that's why it didn't work the first time. So you yeah, press that, and then you have that here. Type in DX Diag, hit enter or click OK. You might get a dialog box that opens up. Just click yes on it. This is going to tell you if you have a 32-bit or 64-bit operating system. If yours has a six, it says 64-bit, um, it's a 64-bit operating system. If it doesn't say anything or it says 32, then you have a 32-bit operating system. After doing that, you can just click exit, and then open up your browser. Type in JDK, and then click the first link. Should be Java SE Downloads. Then um, click download Java Platform JDK. Oh, there's a seven version now. And then um, down here you'll see um, on the different types of versions. So if there's one for Windows x86, which is a 32-bit operating system. So in that um, DX dialog, um, diag box that um, we opened up, if um, yours didn't have, a, if yours didn't say 64 bits, or oh, there goes the theme again. If yours didn't say 64 bits and it said 32-bit or didn't say anything at all, you'll download this one. If yours says 64-bit, you'll download this one. I'm going to download this one. Oops, um, make sure you accept the license agreement. Save it. Just wait for it to download. Alright, it's finished now. So, um, after you've done that, open it up. If you get this um, um, dialog, um, just click run. And if you have um, UAC enabled or user account controls enabled, you might get a window asking you to um, allow this program to run. And just click yes or okay, whichever one is the positive answer. And then, and then you might get this and just click run. Uh, it'll install. Let's click next. Um, you keep them um, that um disabled, I guess. Or I'm um, not installed. So make sure you have source code, chat, and um public JRE. Click next. It's going to install. All right. Um, after the first part's done, it'll say, "Oh, it's still, still going." Okay. Then um, after you get this up. This comes up, just um, click next and wait for this to install. Did the fucking camera just not start not responding? What the fuck? Where the fuck did the screen go? Oh shit, oh shit, it's still recording. Sorry about that, guys. I'll probably have to edit that out. Sorry if I don't. Um, but then after that's part's done, you don't need to click product register, registration information, just click finish. Let's see if this changes. I don't think it's going to. Okay, well, it didn't change. So, right click on it, click properties, click change. Go to Browse. Once again, if you have a 64-bit operating system, go to the regular 64. Oops. Then go to My Computer. Sorry about that. I skipped a step. Go to My Computer. Click on the C drive if that's your system drive. And if you have a 64-bit operating system and you download a 64-bit version of JDK, um, the program files will be. It'll be installed in program files. If you have a 32-bit operating system, 
it'll still be called program files but you just won't have the program files x86 but if you downloaded the 32-bit version and you're running a 64-bit operating system it'll be in program files so I'll go into the one where, even where it's installed and go down to what the fuck is this go down to Java oh we got JDK 7.0 Got a bin. Select the application Java W. Then click OK. Click Apply. Click OK. And try running it. Come on. Here we go. If if you if you get something um popping up asking if if um to allow Java or Java TM to connect to the internet, make sure you allow it. So I think that's what the problem with the AG thirty three guy is. Um, I think um is it, um firewall is blocking. Or it's probably did connect, but as you see, I got this to open. If yours still doesn't work, um, message me telling me your antivirus, and I will look at look up the antivirus of how to allow stuff through your firewall, and um, I will try to help you out. If you have AVG, I can show you how to do that in another tutorial. But hopefully this helps you, and um, Neji Neji33, I'll get back to you. Thanks for watching.